Good afternoon. Um, I'll be very brief. This has been my fifth uh, briefing to the Security Council. It's been, as always, a very uh, productive uh, interaction and dialogue. As you may know from some of our earlier reports, uh, just the last few days, there's been an acceleration, intensification of effort by the Syrian Arab Republic. Uh, a revised timeline has been submitted by the authorities, looking at implementation uh, between the middle and end of April. Uh, in time should all go well to meet the overall deadline of 30th of June 2014. A number of shipments uh, have taken place and will continue to take place, looking at removal. But if we combine removal and destruction, the mission has concluded now that about one-third of uh, Syria's chemical weapons uh, material has been removed or destroyed. And of course, the statistics will change uh, as we proceed. The next few days, we expect to reach already 40, 41 percent. And with a lot of continued effort, hard work, and support also by the international community, uh, we uh, look forward to see continued progress, but it remains hard work, a lot of dedication, and of course continued commitment to, to implementation. This has been assured uh, by the authorities at the highest level that this will continue. And the month of March, as uh, I've informed the Security Council, is the critical month uh, to look at continued progress towards the overall deadline. Thank you. Special coordinator will take a few questions. Or no. Yes. Um, there is evidence that shows that some of the chemical weapons used in the attacks came from Syrian government stockpiles, according to a panel of UN investigators. Would you have any comment on that? I'm not, uh, like the President of the Security Council, I'm not in a position to comment on this. Revise the time frame. Does this mean that it will take more time? Uh, could you please give us more no. details? Um, you may recall from some of the reports also in the media, the, there have been different discussions on what would be the timeline to achieve the overall deadline 30th of June. Um, and, and, and a group of member states uh, initially had proposed a 35 day timeline. Uh, the Syrian authorities themselves looked at a, at a larger framework. Ultimately, uh, there's been, a, there's been an, an, an acceptance of a, about a 60-day plan with a further intention to sort of in, in, increase the ambition level further, to look at further reductions against the timeline. The work is already ongoing, to look at further improvements, uh, to look at areas where efficiency gains can be achieved, for instance, co consolidation of chemical weapons material, increased movements, parallel preparedness. It is a very complex supply chain operation over and above a chemical weapons elimination operation. Do you have any indication that uh, the events in Ukraine might have an impact on, on delaying further the, uh, the elimination of chemical weapons? The work is ongoing and I think so far we have our own timeline. We monitor, we measure and the unity of, of purpose and voice of the Security Council was once more very clear this morning and I think we are very fortunate to have this. The last question. Thank you.